in theory we will be live so in theory we are now live hopefully right. so so hello everyone please let us know if we're here actually here um so it is myself, Toby, as ever, and Colin, also pretty much as ever now. Oh, tremendous. Um, and um, in, the, in the, the grand tradition of our streams, uh, we'll start by attributing blame, uh, which is that <laughs> Colin has chosen this photo. So it, it's, a, it's a very nice photo, actually, but it, it's definitely got its challenges, hasn't it? Well, I would say it's, it has. It's, it's perspective central. I mean, with the, you know, the trickiest bit is that one in the middle, curving around. Mm. But uh, I think we'll have a good old stab at it. Fingers crossed, eh? <laughs> That's what we're hoping for. If you can hear us in the comments, please uh, please let us know. And we'll continue until someone says they can't hear us. Uh, we'll continue as if, as if everything's going well. <laughs> um, so I'm actually using uh, fine liners today. Um, oh, okay. Because... I can't find my fountain pens. Oh dear. So they're somewhere. Um, but uh, I thought, why not Why not just do, do some fine liner sketching? So I've got some Rotring Tiki pens, which are, if anyone's used them, they're very nice. They're, they're a little grayer and a little um, bolder than most fine liners. So like a point 0.1 in this is like a point 0.3 in a Winsor Newton, I found at least. Might Did you say that they're gray, Toby? Did they're, you say they're, they're gray? They're subtly grey. So if you compare line, you don't notice on their own they're black, but they just right, don't okay. quite have that punch that the other ones, other black ones have. According to a study. Excuse me, we say it. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Colin's playing his own background. Uh... <laughs> I was just trying to get the video up and uh, so that I can see people comment and things as well. So let's see if I can do that too while I'm while I'm uh, sketching here. Yeah. What what are you if I, if it's not too much of multitask? What are you going to be doing today? Your normal with um, fine line. The normals. Or, yeah. Yeah. So uh, just the standard Unipen. I actually think this one is starting to. I've used them so much. Uh, they're starting to run out of ink a little. So just mm. the standard Unipen, and then I'll be moving on to watercolor Daniel Smith using Daniels tonight. So looking forward to that. Real. Um. There you go. So that is our our, our smooth and um, <laughs> smooth and simple intro. Got loads of people <laughs> with us already. So oh, tremendous! A, 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 I'm not going to be able to run through everyone, but hello, we've got uh, Valencia, Spain. Oh, wow. um, lots of people who say they can hear us. Barcelona, Northern Ireland, of course. Santa Barbara, Los Angeles. Wow. Um, Loads and loads of people. And we've got Madeline Kerry here as well, who both Colin and I have noticed you being very, very nice to us on Instagram. Yes, thank, thank you very you much, very Madeline. Much. Yeah, hugely appreciated. Um, in the description is the reference we're using. I'll show it to you guys quickly. So it's this beach scene. It's just what we were talking about. Um, so what we were waffling about with the perspective is this. Uh, rather challenging bit of perspective going on here. So we'll we'll see what we both make of it, and I guess it's probably just time to start. Um, yes, absolutely. The link, by the way, is the Pinterest link. So down down the, in the description, you should find a Pinterest link, uh, and you'll be able to join in or sketch later or um, compare and contrast our images to the actual reference, which I'm sure will be interesting. <laughs> And are you are you going loosey goosey tonight? Are you having a tighter style, Toby, or is it the normal, just nice and free? What are you What are you doing I there? I think it will be. I think it will be the normal. I wonder right. about making. I might make a bit more ink marking of that. Um, that nice, uh, the sort of middle wall, and also okay. the rocks on the left. I might. We'll see. Let's see how it goes. Because there isn't too much. Otherwise, it's all big things, isn't it? There's yeah. too much to yeah. get stuck into, so um, we'll see. Right. Should we go? I think I, I think I might do continuous line tonight, as nerve wracking as it is. But I, I just like I think it's it's a nice thing to 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 use, and it brings about a bit of a freer style. So is that all right, Toby? That is all right. I'll, I'll let you away with it today. Okay. 
Well, let's see. So where I'm that's just going to start at the back, I think, and because um, that's the bit which is easy, right? The the slither of trees. Well, I'm going for the horizon line. And then that lovely rise and the um, like the sort of trees and the shrubbery. Yeah, yeah. Quite agree. I quite want to watch you doing your continuous line as well, but <laughs> I, I find it a really good tool to to loosen me up and just really enjoy the discipline of having to keep going, you know, and uh, going going over the line as well. Because if you notice on the right. Just on the horizon line, there's a there's a house. This mm. is Crawford's Burn in Northern Ireland. It's a really really beautiful place. I was actually there painting at Helen's Bay, which is kind of connected. So just trying to get it all in, you know, it's um, look, it's good fun. Definitely, it's still my my most popular Skillshare class is uh, urban sketching with continuous lines. Ah, very good. So. Yeah, I'm at the house now. <laughs> Not continuous lining it, but something like that. I'm fascinated to see what colours you go for with the, the beach as well. I'm never quite feeling confident with my choices. Oh, right, okay. It's a bit like skin tones, isn't it? You kind of, mm. in your head, imagine beach and sand as a certain colour. And in actual fact, it's normally a whole heap of different colours as well. Yeah, exactly. And way more gentle. So the thing with skin tones is you have to be really soft with your colours. That's because you attempt people, whereas I just avoid them. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. I think it's the same with beaches. You kind of imagine yellow, then you paint it yellow and you're like, ah, oh, yeah. what's this, yeah. uh, this nuclear waste on my beach? <laughs> I mean, I think that the um, the ochres are going to be your best friend and, you know, the likes of an Indian red and burnt umbers and those kind of varying tones uh, really add a lot of, you know, depth to the sand because you'll get all those kind of things in it. If only you weren't listing all the colours I don't have in my palette. You probably have something similar, do you not? Similar. My, I tend, I don't, in terms of... Um, orangey, reddy, ochery tones. I have a lot of quinacridones, which are quite bold. And then I've got Lunar Earth, which is a little bit ochery, I guess, kind of. But no, I don't, I don't have many things which are strictly suitable for that, I think. But we'll see. Right, okay. um, you could always tone them down. So it would probably be a case of like a quinacridone sienna, um, which I then add some indigo to to make it a little bit more neutral. That's what I'm yeah, yeah. End up doing. And I think the the mixing colours is a dance of um and sometimes there's a lot of backwards and forwards. And once you find that then actually can be quite liberating to just embrace the process of it rather than kicking yourself when you haven't got it first time, you know? Yeah, definitely. I've got a you know, we've got a huge resource here of course. Uh so everyone watching <laughs> What do you have go-to colours for the beach? I know actually a few people have um, have asked me to do a beach scene, and maybe I'm uh, explaining why I haven't yet done it because it's not. It's, I will do it, um, but it's well, I'm doing it now, I suppose. I was going to say you're doing it tonight. It's not one of my like easy comfort scenes, but um, oh, okay. What do people watching? What do you do with uh, beaches? How do you get the the feel of the colour and the feel of the sand and the feel of the waves as well? That's a that can be a difficult one as well, depending on how literal you are. I've got, I'm now on my, on my phone. So, fingers crossed. Right. Just need to sort out our thing and see if we can get back. Are we back stream. on? But uh, uh, dying. Oh dear. But looks like there's you're back live there now. 
Fingers crossed. Nope. Oh. <laughs> hey, I think we're back. That looks like we're back. The stream is right, wonky. Okay. I'm going to unwonky it. So fingers crossed, people can now see us. Yeah, it's, it's been a... <laughs> no, can't control the major Tom. Somebody said. <laughs> so fingers crossed, Have you? can you guys now see us? Well, I think you can. So, sorry, my internet's been playing up today, and I thought it was better, but uh, apparently not. And we will uh, proceed um, as long Thanks. as my internet decides not to die again. And failing that, Colin and I will have to do a um, an apology <laughs> return uh, while in the near future. So, yeah, people have got us back, Colin. Yes, so, I still believe people have said it's back. I've removed our heads just to take the strain off our off my internet. Okay. And I guess with that, let's um, let's continue trying to draw. Okay, let's. Uh, I shall re-pack up my re-pack up. I shall pack up my continuous lines. <laughs> Brilliant. As people right. were saying while we were gone, uh, we are just drawing incredibly slowly. <laughs> You're all so, very kind. Still staying on. Yeah, thank you. So, yeah, thank you very much, guys, for, uh, for for waiting along with us. Right. So, I can't remember what we were talking about after all that. It's never one I, thing. There's it's always a lot of stress when one little uh, bit of technology goes wrong like that. No, well, everybody was very gracious, though, which is makes yeah. a huge difference. Definitely. So we appreciate that. Where have you apparently, I'm, your line? apparently, I'm really blurry now. Let me see. see if I can. Yeah, well, it had to be more than one thing, didn't it? Is that any better now, everyone? I don't know. Is this the technical hit central tonight, isn't it? It is. We were talking before this about how I need to upgrade to Zoom. Yes. So uh, maybe, maybe well, not that that would have helped the internet not die, but it will help with the with the blurriness. So next yeah, time, I'm trying to adjust this here. That should be a little bit better now. Okay. So I suggest that we just massively pick up the speed so <laughs> so we basically finished when it when it all goes wrong again <laughs> we've got everything done we managed to pull it all back and at least produce some artwork that was of yeah. some worth something like that okay i don't know whether i think we'll just keep that there Every time you go quiet now, Toby, I'm going to be slightly nervous. I'll just keep rustling. I need to get some paper. R rustle away. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Daisy said uh, they're, they're both really blurry. Oh, so sorry. If they're both blurry, either it's my internet or um, just try clicking on the little cog underneath the video. And it might be that you just need to increase the um, quality of the stream. So you can click on the cog. And it will say like video settings and if you just increase that away from being auto it is of course very possible that my um my internet is uh, failing to keep up with things today 
Yeah, that's a strong, strongly worded letter to go to the uh, the internet company, eh? Yeah. It's Virgin, unfortunately, so um, they won't read it. Yeah, we're Virgin as well. We just got word that we're moving to Fiber or something like that. Maybe that's what's happening with you today. In theory, we're already on on the fastest Fiber. Right. In theory. Uh, but Clearly not in practice, eh? Uh, I think we've got a bit, it's a bit stormy today. So I, I often when it's a bit stormy, I think it seems like our internet decides not to function. Not sure why, given it's all cable, but, um, or if that's just, maybe it's just foreshadowing, I'm not sure. <laughs> but there you go. We're getting something done anyway. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, so I think I'm going to... A little bit... A little bit blurry apparently, but um, we'll uh, what we'll do, Colin, is we'll fix it for next time. And today, well, we're sorry, go everybody, with, we're going to say good, vaguely visible is good enough. That's what we're aiming for. We're we're today. just glad to be actually live. Yeah, I I'm going to finish my drawing there, which it's much quicker with continuous line. It I'm going to add in yeah. add in my stampers. Clearly taking to heart when I said we need to go quick, okay? <laughs> try, try and take. Daisy says only the best video quality for you guys, Madeline. Toby's isn't bright for me, but Colin's screen looks okay with slight blur. Ah, sorry, Madeline. We'll get that resolved for the next time. Lots of learning, isn't it, this stuff? Continually. I'm under the stampers. The important part of the process key part oh absolutely so i'm just trying to add a little bit of sort of textures here and there i think i've got textures in my my, in my mind too much i've been doing a uh, filming a skillshare today all about textures so i've um probably said the word textures about 400 times to myself so <laughs> I'm looking at this beach going, well, how would I do that? Toby, somebody suggested that maybe my lens is dirty, so I'm going to give it a wee rub here. Stephen. Yeah, I think it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. See if that makes any difference. Laura said there's no need to rush. They're awful nice, aren't they, Toby? Quite, I see. Quite right. Thank you, Laura. You were saying you're filming a Skillshare today. What was that one on? So it's, it's going to be titled something along the lines of uh, uh, textures, just keep it simple or something like that. Or, or more is less is more, not more is less. Although do they mean the same thing. I suppose they do mean the same thing, don't they? They're just the opposite. <laughs> um, so, yeah, waiting to uh, need to film a few more sort of, of the little lessons tomorrow. And then spend a long time editing. But oh, there you go. I can. This is my exciting news. Oh, Madeline's already just said my exciting news. I was about to say that. I got made a oh. top teacher on uh, Skillshare, which is really fun. That's um, amazing. Well done, you. Uh, which means I get a little bit more visibility and, and things like that. But mostly, it's just really nice. Um, basically, nice feedback in the top echelons of teachers on Skillshare. Um, so this will be my first top teacher Skillshare. <laughs> class which will of course be identical to all the other ones I do but um, yeah a really nice uh, a really nice bit of feedback basically for them to have that confidence. So, so how, how does Skillshare work? Do people just log on then and they can watch videos of the things that you're teaching Toby or? Yeah so it's like a it's a massive I, I don't know maybe it's like a um, a premium YouTube kind of so you you have if you, you have to have a membership that's a disadvantage okay and it's not super expensive but it's definitely not cheap um so it is an investment uh if you have the money and you want to invest then you get access to thousands and thousands of classes which have to meet skillshare's quality standards um, right okay and they review all of them so um they, they let me know if i've like in 10 seconds of you know, the eighth lesson in my class, the audio is a bit fuzzy. They'll let me know. 
So they're, they're all sort of well organised, well filmed, recorded classes, um, which are mostly about 40 minutes an hour long, all based around a project. So it's right, quite, okay. a, quite a nice like resource if you want to just get on and um, like be guided through a project, be guided through like a concept, but actually pr produce something at the end. So you, you learn a bit, but you also get the um, a little bit more uh, sort of way of just yeah producing something. Unlike YouTube, where it's easy to just uh, watch in the background and and learn a little bit, which is equally a very good way of learning. It's just a different way of learning. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's a it's a nice resource. It's it's nice for teachers because you have this sort of guaranteed um, sort of very keen set of interactive learners. So everyone posts their projects. You get so many projects posted and giving feedback on projects and things like that. Yeah, so it's a it's a nice platform, I think. It uh, sounds though. I mean, if it's that stringent as well as to their quality control, I mean, all the more you should be encouraged. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I definitely got caught out a couple of times early on in my stuff but they taught me a huge amount about how to produce videos and things so um yeah they, it's been it's good have been very valuable in my learning of the video editing processes and, and things like that i know loads of people are on there so i think chris is on there or there's a chris there madeline how long have i been teaching on skillshare i think since last may something like that um, I'm pretty sure Madeline, you're on you're on there, aren't you? I've, I'm sure I've seen uh, seen seen um, projects from you. And there's probably there's so many names that I'm gonna I miss out if I start saying I remember this person on Skillshare. Um, anyway, everyone who's on following me on Skillshare, I'm incredibly grateful. Um, thank you very much. How's your um? If you started your your teaching now, Colin. Have you got your? No, 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 no. It starts. It starts next week, next Monday. So, ah. um, uh, I was I was thinking that I go for this kind of real, uh, sort of nearly curriculum based idea, or do I? I'm going to have certain stable things like we're going to have a well. Anybody who's on the course who's listening, we're going to have like a continuous line exercise at the start each week, and going to set some uh, journaling homework. I want help people try and think a bit more like an artist and also going to do a mixing challenge and my, my wife has suggested that there should be prizes for the closest color mix but just and then I, I really want to hear what people want to learn as well apart from drawing people <laughs> but i'm really excited to be really 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 yeah. excited do you know anything about your students how many have signed up well, I had limited the class at uh, 16, and the last time they told me, they think there was two places left, which was really, oh, wow. like, I was just so pleased about that, you know, so. Absolutely amazing. So you um, two more places, if you happen to be near Colin, two more places to uh, Two more join. places. You can spend two hours a week with me for the next 10 weeks. Cool, then for, for, the, for the Northern Islanders, uh, who are uh, on, where would they find it to, to sign up or get more information? Do I have a, um, you can go to, it's in with Strand Millis, which is a teaching university in uh, Northern Ireland and Belfast. And um, I can also put the link, I probably should put the link back up again on my stories, but just drop me a DM on Insta and I'll pick that up and send it to you. But there's also a class in winter. There's another 10 weeks for the winter term. And then there's another 10 weeks for the spring term, which is lovely as well. So. Are you gonna? Are they gonna progress, or are they gonna be on different things, or the same thing? Or I don't know. I, a friend who's actually doing the course, I think he's uh, watching tonight, was saying to me, he's been at some courses where it's obvious that uh, some people are further on than others, mm -hmm. and uh, it can be really nice just to encourage them where they're at. So that would be my heart on it that we find out where people are at and, and help them, yeah. and at the same time, the corporate uh, tasks and things together that's going to benefit us all and be some fun and build a better community on it too so really looking Daisy, forward to it daisy says it's a long way to travel <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think daisy's in are you in australia daisy yeah i was going to use tonight to promote i've got a a, a little um workshop coming up in st neots 
uh, but then it sold out in a day. So um, oh, Toby, well done, you. Uh, yeah, I think the cafe was surprised. Was surprised. <laughs> they 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 were very nice and said, I, "Don't worry if if no one buys it." Um, <laughs> but then I I did send send it around my mailing. I cheated. I sent it around my mailing list and put a thing on YouTube and. Um, I didn't actually expect it to sell out. I did think I, mean, I knew a couple of people had asked me to do it, so um, right. I, I, I knew at least two people would be coming. But yeah, it's only it's a small class. I wanted it small, so it's only eight people, I think. But uh, well, that's it's still great. Right. You're getting really lots fun. of encouraging things happening anyway. Yeah, it should be. I'm hoping just really fun. We're going to do a couple of sketches, um, a guided one, and then like a free choice one, and um, just have some fun, basically. And I'll have a nice coffee because it's a nice cafe as well. So win-win. Do you get as the coffee complimentary because you're doing a class there or anything? Or? Uh, I haven't pushed them on that. <laughs> so if, <laughs> so yeah, if anybody say... is watching, give them the man a free coffee. <laughs> um, Are you, have you added, you've just started adding Sky, Toby. It's not often yeah. that I'm ahead of you. I just started. I did quite a lot of ink. A lot of like little little hatching and things. The, I think the advantage of fine liners is you can go really fine and that gives me a lot. No, it's not a good ad for, not at all a good ad for them, but there you go. I'm hoping it will. Uh... Uh, something's back on again yeah I can see video again hey we're back there we go <laughs> now to the brave people the brave people still with us thank you very much I was just chatting to myself. Um, I was very happy for a minute or so whilst clearly <laughs> no one was with me. But yeah, thank you to the brave people still here. Don't feel you have to stay, but I'm very glad you have. Me and Colin will just keep painting anyway. Yeah, we're just gonna uh, keep going, I think. And uh, we were just saying uh, as it was reloading, not the best advert for Virgin, so. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll just leave it there. Leave my internet advice there since I've clearly I've had two streams do this, uh, so it's not too frequent. But anyway, hopefully people can now hear us and see us. And a good comment here from uh, John John Johnsterman. I still see Toby. Never seen you spend so much time in the drawing. I know we kind of uh, have traded places this time, Toby. We have indeed. I think it's just because I I spent a lot a lot longer on the. Um, on the just a little bit of hatching and texture really and maybe it, i think the, uh, the 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 having to think about the stream just uh yes prevented yeah. me uh, rushing too much so you know but we've definitely tra traded places a bit well yeah and you did continuous line as well so you really stole my thunder oh were you going to do that and then i jumped in no no it's just what i very often do it's one of my favorite things to do so, um, not stole my thunder, just, um, well, traded Nicked my your place. technique. Okay. <laughs> I have, I have acquired two new flat edge brushes to me. And then yeah. I don't think, I don't think they're expensive ones. This is the SAA flat mate. I maybe had it the last time. And this is a long nickel, which is like a quite thin, but, but long. And just, I'm really enjoying using it. Yeah. It's like a new toy. Yeah. They're fun, aren't they? Yeah, new absolutely. things, new art things. It just gets too expensive if you keep going. Yes. As long as you can justify it. I, I've got a new pen coming. That's my um, my silly silly purchase for the next year, probably. What type so, is it? So it's a platinum, and I can't remember exactly the uh, the make, but basically, it's actually talking to Simon, who briefly said hello. Um, earlier today, Simon, is it Black Blackbird, his Instagram name? Yes, Simon um, Blackbird, yeah. So he he did a little, 
a thing on Instagram about using an, a, a specially ground nib. Um, so you get like extra, extra, extra fine, which is equivalent of a like 0 0.5, 0 0.05 fine liner. Right. Okay. Um, so I was like, I asked him a few questions about that. And then did, he sent me a nice little chart, which shows the different um, like brands of fine liner and uh, not different brands, different brands of fountain pen and what like equivalency a fine is and an uh, extra fine in this. And so I just spent a while trying to find one which was finer than anything I've got um, and also not excessively pricey for an experiment. I ended up with this one. So it should be, in theory, about a 0 0.1 fine liner type. type oh, wow, size, right, okay. Which would be really interesting in a fountain pen. Um, hopefully good fun. It's, uh, I mean, it certainly sounds it. I'm going to invest in a Lamy pen, a friend, mm. um, my friend Ingrid, that I'm, we've actually, Ingrid and I have started doing a sketch club together once a month on a Friday uh, and just invi and inviting others from, obviously, those local to, to yeah. come. But any, anyway, she uses a Lamy pen. She's a brilliant illustrator and she was telling me all about them. So um, I went and played with one in the shop and thought, oh, I need one of these. <laughs> They're very nice Lammies. I think they're a, one of the best all-round options, even compared to a lot more expensive things for sketching. They're brilliant. Do you have a Lammy pen? I've got a, I've got a few. Oh. I've got three or four, I think. Oh different. my goodness! You've got different inks in. That's my um, my excuse. That's a justification. I was thinking it would be a good Christmas gift or something like that. Yeah. Can I, just, I just want to pick up on a comment here. Uh, Sarah G said, I enjoy watching Madeline's Instagram too. So this is ironic, but Madeline does a lot of uh, swatching. And I actually have found watching other people swatch quite addictive, or watching you swatch Madeline quite addictive. Whereas I'm not a swatcher at all, Toby. There you go. <laughs> For some reason, I'm not actually getting the... Um... The chat, so you're going to have to keep me updated, Colin. All right, so okay. Somewhere was, in the in the stream I, I, problems. <laughs> I was not. Uh, I was trying not to steal your thunder. Okay, let me see. Uh, Dean Love said I have a couple of platinum three seven seven six pens. Go. Good, cho good choice, Toby. Great pens. I feel like I've stepped into Star Trek here. I have no idea what you're talking about. And That's... Madeline says she's up for having multiple pens as well. There you go. It's like, you know, when you get one, you'll just want one, another one for something a bit different, another one for, it's like brushes. Flat brushes, you can never have too many flat brushes. There you go. And you can never have enough fountain pens. It's always this is what we need. This is what we tell our other halves, isn't that right? Yeah. No, it's really important. And the good line now I, I can use is, it's for business. <laughs> That's um, that's how I justify things as well. But it's for the business. A new camera, because you know, filming. Because you need it for the business, isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah, it's Elizabeth. Uh, Elizabeth Heinemann says, "Right, there's no enough." <laughs> Oh, sorry, Daisy said that Madeline, I would say she paints more than she swatches. Oh, okay, yes, no, I know. It's just, that's what sticks out to me, Daisy. I'm a secret swatch watcher. There are worse things you could be. And Madeline's asked us both, what are both of your all-time favorite fountain pens? Um, oh, that's a good question. Uh my most commonly used one is the uh, Diamond, is it 580 or 380? 580 by uh, Twisby. Um, I like it because it's quite, it's a bit thinner than the, it's an extra fine, it's a bit thinner than the Lamy's. Um, and it's very reliable and it's got a huge, like it's not, you don't need uh, ink cartridges or an ink converter, it's just got like two mils of ink in the belly. So you can just paint, you paint, you can sketch for like a month without refilling it. Oh, wow. Um, it's not as flexible. The nibs are not as flexible as the Lamy Safaris. So sometimes I decide I prefer the Lamy Safari um, 
So that'll be a close second, probably. Uh, that's yeah, well, that's I, probably my answer. I uh, I have never drawn with a fountain pen, sad but true. I have a fountain pen that I use for journaling, but I've never used it to draw. I have uh, dip pens. I have a selection of dip pens, actually, right here. But that's what I would go to. So they're just... One of these dip pens a friend got me 20 years ago, bought this one in the Isle of Man, and this other one I bought just out of Hobbycraft. So I suppose the fountain pen then is a dip pen for me, and I just enjoy I love the sound of uh, the nib mm. on watercolour paper. That's what I love about it. Yeah, I like the feedback. You get really nice feedback from a Lamy Safari, so I think you'll enjoy that. Feedback? What does that mean? As in the, that feel that you can tell you're like... You know, it's like a bit of scratchiness, not just totally smooth, but you can actually tell you're on a textured bit of paper. You like that? Um, okay, so question for you, Toby. Uh, what brush are you using? Or something. Right. Uh, right, well, it will be live again soon. Uh. Dean Love says, are these the disconnections and sneaky way of promoting your live events? Yeah. And do they get a um, they get a notification every time it comes on? <laughs> it's not getting back on the stream. So annoying, isn't it? Yeah. It's just that, like, it's just a little bit of frustration, isn't it? Yeah, no, totally. And there's nothing you can do about it. I wonder, are we back? Yeah, no, totally. And there's nothing you can do about it. Let's see if my hands move on my stream. <laughs> if we're here, if anyone can see us, let us know. We're back. Pat Meldon says yes. Oh, I am uh, incredibly impressed that people are still here. Um, so let's let's try, let's try again. <laughs> um, if it, uh, Lee, it 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 will be. A, well, actually, I'm not sure if it will be available on replay or not, because I think it might be um, too low quality, unfortunately, to leave up. Um, but it may be available. And uh, I do not blame you for giving up on for giving up on the live. Um, no, but... Yeah, so very grateful that people are still here. Very nice of people to stick around for all of this. Uh, No worries, Liz. I got I've got uh, got the chat back up on my phone now, so no worries. Oh, Liz, excellent, excellent. Um, I was saying what for, I think for the third time today, I was trying to explain what the, maybe this is what keeps crashing it. I could try and say what my brushes are, and YouTube doesn't like it. These are Da Vinci <laughs> Casaneo travel brushes. So the reason I got them is because they come in non-round. So I've got a this is a slantage edge they call it, but it's basically a sword brush. This is a mop, which is just a little bit more interesting to use than just round brushes. Um, so yeah, I, they're they're very flexible. They're not quite as um, sort of specific in their uses like as a lot of other brushes. Um, but I'm getting to getting to know them 